Hi, welcome back to Bri Society. I'm Laura. And I'm Rebecca. So 2020 hasn't turned out to be the bumper wedding year that we all predicted it would for obvious reasons and you may have been forced or made the decision to postpone your wedding date uh, which may mean that you've lost your wedding planning mojo a bit but now you've got this new date um, in the future hopefully you can take back the control and hopefully get excited about wedding planning again and this video we're going to give you some ideas about how to get that excitement back. Yeah. And first of all, we think that's starting with, if you haven't already, celebrating your original date. So maybe, as I say, maybe you've done that already if it's already been and gone, but if it's still ahead of you, like still try and do something because, and, but instead of maybe thinking of it as your wedding day, maybe thinking of it as like a warm up celebration, like part of everything that goes into the run up of your big day. So it's still a poignant part of it. And maybe it's like your private celebration because I think on your actual one day you get very little time just one on one with your partner. Um, so maybe this is like your private wedding day and then you're going to have the big celebration later on. So your new wedding date might now be in a different season or a different time of year to what you had originally planned for. So use this as an opportunity. So if you've now got a winter wedding date, you might be able to buy some extra accessories. So maybe like a nice wrap or a shrug to keep you warm on your wedding day. Um, just look for the positives in all of this, really. I know it's been, it's not what you planned, um, but there's opportunities now to make it even more special, get more things maybe that you actually want as part of your wedding day. So you might, say if it's a winter wedding date you might decide you want to have kind of baubles as wedding favours instead you can change your taste and your themes to fit to um, fit in with this new time of year as i was saying your taste might have changed so if you've been planning your wedding so far for like two years or something then what you might want now might not be the same as what you wanted two years ago and whilst we appreciate there would be a huge expense involved in obviously starting over again, but maybe there's like small things that you want to alter or add. Um, like this is, this is the opportunity, or maybe you've seen something new in that time that you'd like to incorporate. So, sort of, cause we appreciate like wedding trends change and maybe, yeah, you, maybe you've seen something that you want to incorporate, like celestial has been, was predicted to be a big thing this year. So maybe, you want to do that or get a neon sign or maybe it's just an opportunity to add new things in yeah and with this new time you've got there's the potential and this won't be the case for everyone but you might be able to save up a bit more um, and add a bit more to your budget now we're not saying for a wedding you need to kind of spend more in order to have the best wedding that you can um but maybe there's a supplier like a videographer that wasn't quite in budget before but now because you've got that bit of extra time there's the possibility that you might actually be able to hire one for your wedding day yeah yeah which to be honest it's something i wish i had at my wedding so i think yeah. that's the one supplier that that's kind of the most common one that people wish they had potentially um uh, yeah so again with more time maybe you now you've got more time to do some uh, like DIYs if you want to add extra little touches and um, DIYs are notoriously time consuming way more than you think they're going to be um, although obviously they're great and a personal thing to do um, but yeah now, now you have more time yeah and maybe start now so you definitely know you can <laughs> yes I don't think oh I've got infinite time to start now <laughs> <laughs> um, and with this time you might have a chance to learn a new skill. So if you actually wanted to, uh, if you wanted maybe calligraphy on your invitations, if you're having to resend invitations now, you could maybe learn how to do the calligraphy yourself. Um, that could save you some money as well. Uh, or if you want to get some dance lessons, an opportunity for you and your partner to kind of learn a choreographed first dance for your big day, which you might not have felt as though you had enough time before the original date to do that as well so that's true and being in lockdown is no excuse for that there's so much stuff online right now that you can like virtually learn how to dance <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah and then i think 
the other thing for me is that when I was wedding planning, one of the hardest things for me was just to pick one of everything, right? So like one type of invitation, one wedding cake design, one, like there's so much choice out there and it's all so many beautiful things and designs and all this kind of thing. But this might actually be the opportunity if money and circumstance allows to pick the other thing. So maybe you already sent out one lot of invitations, but there was that other invitation that you just can't quite get out of your mind and you maybe wish you'd picked or just had the opportunity. Now you have the opportunity. If you're sending out a change of date card, send the other thing. Like make make the most of the opportunity. Um, but you might also be able to make other small changes based on the, on that that maybe don't cost anything. So like if there's simple small alterations like to your cake design, like your a conversation with your cake supplier, they might be able to say alter things um, at a small cost if it, if you're being more elaborate or whatever. But there's opportunities, opportunities. And something else we thought of was to create a wedding specific Instagram account if you use social media. Um, we've through Bright Society, um, through YouTube and our, and our Instagram account, we've discovered so many brides have got wedding planning accounts dedicated it's, um, to all their wedding ideas. It's somewhere that they can kind of explore ideas and have creativity over their planning without necessarily. Um, not boring uh, <laughs> or friends and family with wedding plans all the time but it's a proper well, community that, like, sorry just to interrupt but also, like without having giving away all your planning ideas to like you might want to be able to like share the excitement of all oh, what I bought but you don't want to like give away all the surprises so if people have created like these separate ones sorry no that's fine yeah it's a real community like sharing hints and tips um different ideas different inspiration uh, and help if people need it so if that's something you want and lots of people will be in the same boat as you now with 2020 it's just wiped out weddings um there are so a lot of what they call corona brides on there right? that's the hashtag if you're looking for some fellow <laughs> support corona brides and so. yeah so there's that support network out there for you as well if you want to talk to people um, who are going through the same kind of things as you yeah so we hope that helps you get a bit of your like wedding mojo back for like planning and you're feeling a bit more like upbeat about embarking on the next part of your wedding journey um, if you've got any other tips or ideas for other brides, please leave them in the comments below. Um, any video requests, let us know and we'll do our best. But otherwise, please subscribe and we will see you next time.